you guys, it's your boy Myron and I'm live 24-7. Today I'm reviewing this little beast, the Kawasaki Z125. Big shout out to my buddy Kyle who works at Whole Shot Kawasaki. Always a good bunch of blokes. I don't have very long on this test ride. I've ridden a Grom before which I'll chuck a clip in of here. That one was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so this is literally a spur of the moment test ride because I was supposed to book it in next Wednesday but apparently somebody's checked for finance on this. <laughs> even Bill, even he's having a fucking laugh. <laughs> to be honest, I like this much better than the Grom. The Grom, the seating position on the Grom, I didn't really like it. It was much more cramped. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiny! <laughs> I don't know much about this bike, it's a 125cc single cylinder, much like the Grom. There isn't really much of a difference between them. The, the rear sets seem lower mounted on this, so I, I don't have to take my foot off the peg to blip. You also get a gear indicator, which you don't get on the Grom, and which I like on this. Pretty sure this is a 4 speed, much like the Grom. Let's see if the cop freaks out. Need my, much of a lane, mate? Oh my god, this is a fucking hoot. Thanks so much, Carl, for letting me do this. I don't have my Canon camera out today to do some, like, close-up shots. I might see if I can cut in some clips with another one in the shop. Berries. <laughs> All noise, my <don't> go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm pinned, man. I'm fucking pinned. <laughs> That's it, four speed. Do the fucking tuck. Well, it does 80, but I have to go into a tuck. <laughs> Even the smart car. I think this is the motorbike equivalent. Oh, motorbike equivalent to a smart car, I'd say. <laughs> fucking metaphor right there. So it's actually quite comfortable, but the thing with having a small bike like this, it doesn't feel as stable on the road. Oh, this is mad, this is fucking mad. Oh yeah, mate, fucking yeah, God. It'd be good if I lived in somewhere like Sydney, man. This thing would be a lane-splitting machine. Going downhill, picking up speed, picking up speed. Yeah, boy. But the thing with having also, another thing with small tyres is, not only the stability but also the fact that you can't take corners very fast because the amount of weight that you can put down on these tyres is very minimal. But yeah man, lovely little bike. I like this over the Grom and the brakes are so good. Why are you stopping like a fucking dickhead? You're turning left and fucking turn left. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh but look at that man, you just unsettle the bike so much. Oh mate, this bike's so fucking mad. I think I might go a little bit longer, I'm having too much fun, sorry Kyle. It's your fault! <laughs> so it seems to hold its speed quite well. I haven't taken the MX-5, MX-5 is getting chopped! Chop, choppity chop! Oh yeah, going for the fucking inside line mate. So it does do... It does do 80 k's an hour, but I think you'll be doing valve adjustments much more regularly than you would on something like a 250. I don't know, there's just some charisma and spark about some of a bike that's, you know, that's little like this. I'm yet to see it turn heads though. I haven't seen anyone look at it. I might go into the shopping center and see see what people think. But yeah, like even the vibrations are not that bad. It's 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 buzzy because it's a single, but the grips are quite thick, you don't really feel it. I wonder who's going to bring out the next one, the next little monkey bike. 
I heard Benelli's got something in the works. Keen to see what it's about. Mirrors are really, really good. Better than the Grom ones. I just feel like this is the bike that the Grom was supposed to be. That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Let's see what people think when I ride. Come on, cunt. Really? Really, dude? I've got around. Late as fuck up. Man, people feel like they're bullying you around, eh? That presence is just gone with having a small bike like this. If right rear brake feels spongy, I think it needs to be bled or something. Yeah, boy! Give it the beats! Give it the beats! It's great for 60k zones. It's got, it's got, a, it's got pep. I just don't like taking corners on this. It just doesn't feel stable. <laughs> no need for speed up blowing on this. I'm probably not going to go much faster. Oh, this is fucking mad. This is fucking mad. Got to be careful in the traffic here. Don't want to be run over. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, fucking mad. Whoever's buying this bike, you won't fucking regret it at all, man. You're making an excellent investment. Chuck a little sketchy U-turn. Oh, U-turn machine, mate. Oh, yeah, boy. All right, let's see how it does under hard braking from 60. Oh, no. Oh, it's probably not the best thing. <laughs> Just bounces over the bump. It's got pitfalls, man, but you can just forgive it. That's the thing, like, this bike can punch you in the face and not be talking on the phone. <laughs> this bike can punch you in the face, but it's just got so much character that you'll just forgive it. Come on, son! Come on! <laughs> this sound good, though. I like the, like... It's like bees inside the engine. <laughs> this is probably one of the most memorable test rides I've ever had. It, there's just something about it, it just makes me smile, makes me giggle. And see, I'm gonna go past these blokes and they're gonna think I'm a I'm an idiot. Like they're gonna think I'm a bloody tool. <laughs> just go whoop into this gap. It's like the epitome of what motorcycling is about. It's about fun and freedom. Which is what this bike does, and it does in spades, man. I don't mind, it's the only time I don't mind si sitting behind people who hog the right hand lane. Because I can't go much faster than what I'm doing right now. This is literally how you're going to spend any all your time riding this bike. Or any other monkey bike for that matter. Full tuck! Full tuck is love, full tuck is life. Yeah, it's doing pretty good on the highway, I'm actually quite surprised. And the seat's so comfy. Other than the vibrations, which are making all the dangly bits tingle. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, <laughs> you're probably going to feel pretty vulnerable on this machine because you can't power out of situations. The only thing you can do is just get out of the way. If somebody wants to merge, you can't do shit, man. It's probably not the best bike for Darwin either in terms of the fact that, you know, everywhere is 80Ks or 100 out on the highway. But you know, if you wanted a spare kind of run around bike, a bike that you didn't really have to look after, a bit of a beater, yeah, this bike would do the job, certainly. It's just you couldn't go in 100k in our zones. Which, in fact, is not what this bike's about. It's about hooning through the city at like 40k's an hour. That's the thing, in my books, the more I like a bike, the more I talk about it on film. This bike, I love it, man. It's like a, it's, it's like a puppy dog that you don't want to let go of. And see, like, I'm keeping up with the traffic, although the traffic's doing about 15 under. But I understand why, you know, they're, they're, they're very well, you know, received by the public. You know, lots of people buy them, and you can definitely see why. They just, they enrich your life. Enrich your life more than a traditional motorcycle. It's something like my 250. This is more fun than my 250. Yeah, it doesn't have the power, but it's not about that. What else do we have? Trip, trip. Oh no, 37k this bike's gone. Brand spanking new. Hasn't even been broken in. Woo! Yeah, boy! I will point out though, the Grom felt much more steady on its feet.
feet than the um the moose, man. So good. It's got a motard it, bruv. See my little go-kart track? Rah! There's all gravel everywhere, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah, motard, leg out, leg out. Look, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Look at that. You guys gotta see me in, in this reflection. I look so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, mate. Lovely little machine. If you guys want more reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care on the roads. Wear all your gear. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to see what I get up to in my spare time and see any updates on the channel or on my videos, don't forget to check out my social media on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.